Yeah, well, yeah, there were a couple moments that that come to mind where I, I kind of questioned whether I was, do, you know, if I should be doing this or not. I don't know, I mean, I feel like everything kind of happened really slowly, where um, it was just a lot of little improvements over the years. Um, I, I sort of I made a team in 2007, I made a team in 2009, but it wasn't very good, so... Um, just sort of like snuck my way on. Uh, there was an interesting moment, I remember my first international race with the senior team. We were in third World Cup, we were in Switzerland and right at the heats lining up. All the boats were lined up, ready to go, and I had to take off a t-shirt so I could put my uni up. And uh, while I was doing that, the, these Polish guys are laughing at me, and I look over and these guys are built like tree trunks. They're just like these huge, solid guys. And I realize they're laughing at me because I'm sitting seven seat and I'm like this scrawny little guy. You know, they're like, you know, probably thinking that the lightweight showed up for the wrong race or something. But, um, and then, I mean, I think the real gut check moment came about a thousand years into that race when you look over and, Everybody's still right there, dead level in the race. My first ex experience on the senior national team was trying out for Olympic selection. That was a uh, pretty right away, a pretty big gut check with, with two highly experienced coxswains that uh, I had to compete with who, who knew all the guys and, and they, knew, they knew the coach, they knew the system. Um, so coming into that was just initially just trying to break through a pretty big gut check. Probably be February of last year. I don't think it was like any one moment. I think it was a collective like effort of like uh, first training cycle. Uh, I remember I got pretty run down, and that was the first time that I realized like it was a completely different level. I guess just before I joined the group in April, in March, uh, I went to a camp, and I had been kind of been out of shape after U23s and I started working, I wasn't, and so I came in March and we did, uh, uh, we were there for two weeks and we did a couple of pair matrices. And by the end of the second week, I just got obliterated in the pair matrices. And it was, uh, I don't know, just kind of like a reminder, like how hard, I guess, the sport can be um, and how much, I guess, work it takes and how much, I mean, really just how far behind I am from these other guys. I'd say there were kind of two. Uh, the first was just the the level of volume and how much uh, how much that tired out my body when I got here. Um, I think the first summer, it, I lost maybe 20 pounds in a matter of like a month or so, just because the volume was twice the volume we were doing in college. You know, there wasn't as much rest. We were we were just you know doing a lot more volume, and and I was having trouble keeping the weight on and. Uh, and it was, it just really realized, it made me realize the difference in level uh, between, you know, what, what we do now and, and what we were doing in college. I'd say my biggest gut check experience in the national team was just starting off and coming from college where you're the top dog in the team and then you come to a team where everyone's the top dog and you really have to find a way to set yourself apart from the team. And I remember showing up unloading my boat and just being surrounded by national team athletes and thinking that I had no idea what was going on. Um, yeah, I definitely, definitely do not have any expectations for that event at all. I was sort of way out of my element. It was the first time I've ever been around any of those guys. First time I've ever probably raced any of them. It was definitely eye-opening for me. Uh, the one that sticks out most to me is uh, when I got fourth at the Olympics by only three tenths of a second. That's about that far. And, and just watching the replays are heartbreaking because we know, we know we can do it. And now we have the drive and we're not just gonna win by three tenths of a second, we wanna win by a lot more. Just being exposed to the level of kind of volume and intensity that it takes to go through winter training is pretty eye-opening. Um, and just to be around guys who've been through previous cycles before, you know, it was really helpful to see the kind of level of commitment and the level of which you have to prioritize in rowing uh, if you're trying to make this happen. Um, 
you know, I knew it was going to be like a kind of a full like a lifestyle, really. But to kind of put it in place and implement that sort of idea was really different, I think. Um, so probably, yeah, winter training, the first year in the team, which just did a big jump. Uh, unfortunately, the gut check was at a World Championships in 2011. Uh, you know, not qualifying in the eight, that was pretty difficult. Uh, but, and obviously after that, not making the London Olympics, it's pretty tough. But uh, you just come back and keep training, keep doing what you're doing and try to get a little better and then uh, hopefully the results will take care of themselves. Yeah, uh, we, we were practicing one day in the four and we were doing this uh, 30 second on, 30 second off workout, but they were starts. Um, so the 30 seconds off wasn't a rest. We had to check the boat down and get ready to do another full pressure start. And we did, must have done about 20 or 30 of them. And uh, yeah, I, I mean, that was, that was probably the worst day of the year last year. And a lot of stuff was kind of breaking down. We were yelling at each other. Everyone was like at each other's throats and people were screaming. And uh, it was, that was like, that's kind of when I realized it, you know, it's not, it wasn't, it's not college rowing anymore. Like, it, um, you know, the coach's goal is just to kick our asses and we have to learn how to deal with it. Probably my first, my first sort of memory of that was actually here at Princeton. I, uh, I came here for U23 camp in 2006 and uh, spent like the, the first week just getting sent off to the pair, you know, not really getting any looks. Um, and then one day, coach you know, put me in the eight and, uh, and, you know, he didn't say anything to me for the first, you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes of practice. So I thought, you know, I'm doing, I'm doing really good. I'm really good at this. Uh, and then he just spent five minutes straight just lighting me up, just yelling at me for every little thing I was doing wrong. You know, where did you learn to row this way? Why did you do that? Um, just tons of profanity, tons of yelling at me. And, uh, and so I think that was the, the first moment where I realized, you know, kind of what this all is. Uh, that's actually one of my favorite memories. I kind of I liked it in a, in a sick way.